All right, so I'm doing this like kind of shotgun hunter-ish type thing. There's a bunch of things I was like, I want to use this. And then they all kind of combined into this amalgamation of something. Is it amazing? Uh, maybe not amazing, but it is kind of fun. I'm enjoying it anyways. We're using the spore shot because it's not one that I typically use and I felt like using it. And then we're using it with uh, the digested hot, not digested hog lore, the shiny hog lore because it's a single shot weapon, which means it's always reloading. So, you know, we can like constantly get the mod power bonuses so that we can always use our spore shot and give ourselves haste, enemy slow, dog haste because we're using the dog because, hey, we're a hunter. So we're going to have our trusty hound. And then on top of that, we also have the familiar mod which we can kind of keep charging up even while we're not using that weapon because the hog lure gives mod power to both of your weapons based on how much ammo you reload or like based on a percentage of your magazine that you reload. So if you reload 100% of your magazine, you're gonna get the maximum value for a mod power. And so that's what we're doing here. I was kind of using the digested hog lure as well because it makes sense. I like to kind of lean completely into Kind of tropes and mechanics right but the problem i had with it was that uh the digested hog lore was uh you know it adds damage but our primary source of damage is our ranged and we are using the spore shot a lot but it doesn't do that much damage and so i was also using spirit feeder as well and that one does a 30 percent increase to our mod damage but again our spore bloom is only doing like 11 damage a second so a 30 percent increase to that was like a three damage increase it just really wasn't worth it you know so i i put on twisting wounds because we've got the dog we're constantly applying bleed with the dog being able to apply bleed ourselves is kind of nice so i'm enjoying that combo but really if you want to lean more into the reload aspect of it You've got Lively, you've got the uh, Slayer Mutators. Both of those are going to do pretty good for you. The Slayer one will give you a flat reload bonus once you get it up to level 10. And then extra damage on shots or on your next shot after reloading. And then Lively, as you deal damage, it builds up stacks of reload speed. And then reloading at the maximum amount of stacks will give you a just kind of generic damage bonus so like you don't have to reload and then do more damage like you're always just going to do more damage with that active uh but like i said twisting wounds is kind of where i'm at right now with it and then i've been messing around with the amulets i actually i say messing around with i just put on i put on void idol because i knew i was going to be shooting and reloading a lot and the void idol is nice for that because it's a increase your reload speed and each reload only takes 50 percent of the required amount which means you effectively have double the ammo and so i never run out of ammo on the thing which i like like you can obviously depending on like how you want to set things up you can just you know be a little bit more managing on your ammo i guess you know or use ammo boxes but I really hate having to do all that at times. And like, I'm like I'm pretty simple. It's just, oh, more ammo essentially is just kind of nice. So if I could hit the dude, that'd be nice too. So just being able to use less ammo is nice. It's the moral of the story. That's what I want to get at. I would like to shoot this guy now. Oh, really? Now I reload. Thank you. Uh, nice thing with Spore Shot is it's just, it just does a lot of damage, dude. I like, I haven't put a lot into making sure i can do a lot of damage with it it's just, it's just generic this is like how much damage it's doing we have the hunter on we've got the uh handler as our secondary archetype so we're getting damage bonuses from that but then our amulet isn't adding damage i don't think any of the rings i chose are actually adding damage our mutator does add 20 percent more damage if we hit a bleeding guy but then past that like it's it's all the gun the gun just does a lot of damage and on top of it it actually has a pretty high stagger value at 20 percent and so i decided like i have one ring slot i've been swapping around a lot i put in the wood ring though because that increases the stagger amount as well by another like 15 percent so i'm kind of just messing around with that idea it was like let's just stagger guys really easily and it's kind of working out for me i like it uh it you don't i don't know that i notice it on bosses bosses are weird with stagger things right uh hello oh it's gonna be the huntress too cool a nice little showdown uh, i don't know that i notice it on bosses sometimes 
I seem to see it happen, but then other times, like, it just doesn't ever seem to do anything at all. Oh, hello. Whoop. One more. There we go. Let's do you two. I don't want to be right there. There we go. Uh, but maybe on her, like, whoops, because I, I know I've seen her get, like, staggered and just sit there and, like, not do anything. So I'm kind of hoping that, like, I can, like, get some stagger off of her. Oh, maybe that was it? I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, come on. I am kind of squishy. I don't know if you noticed how much damage I took there. I think I have 50% damage reduction right now, which is not huge for Apocalypse. I really, any lower than that, and things hurt, like, really bad. I'm, like, getting one shot, basically. Even with Max Vigor, I don't have a health concoction in, but I have the Dark Sider, so slightly more HP, and I've got more HP in my Fragment. So, like, there is, I guess, that. I I don't know. Uh, maybe I could, I could be, you can pretty easily pivot things to give yourself some more, like, damage reduction. Or, yeah. Uh, another thing I was doing was a setup. Because I was sticking with the Spore Shot, and I'm constantly able to do the Spore Bloom mod, it does slow, it does haste. So, you know, we put points into Perception so that the slow and haste values are uh, better. Oh, now I reload, really? There we go. So now, like, you know, anytime we've got it on us or enemies, it's just a little bit better, which is pretty nice, especially with the dog. And because I was constantly sitting with the dog in the haste, I decided to put on the attack dog so that he is doing more damage and he's faster now. So it's just more damage and faster. So I feel like it stacks up. It's just kind of satisfying in a way to have a really aggressive and fast dog. And because, like, it, we're getting so much mod power back and Spore Shot doesn't, or Spore Bloom or whatever the mod is called, doesn't actually require that much mod power, it charges up quickly, like, a lot. So, you can, I don't know if you've been paying attention to how often we can use it, like, almost one shot will fully charge it. As long as we hit a guy, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to getting it up. And then, like, definitely two shots and we're good to go. Boom, hit that. Uh, I don't want to get hit by that. One thing I noticed, or something about the uh, familiar, I feel like it charged up. Oh my god, I'm like missing everything. Maybe I should heal. Uh, I feel like Spore Shot charged. Not Spore Shot, Jesus. Familiar charged up faster before, or something. Or like it was getting more mod power while it was active. I, I don't know. It's the mod generation on it is feeling a little different right now, and not in like a good way. Though, I mean, the good thing is, just by using our Spore Shot and reloading, we are generating extra mod power to it, so it does charge up somewhat quickly. I say somewhat quickly. It does just passively charge up, you know, between the mod power generation, just between the two weapons, and then reloading, just giving it a nice chunk. It does get an okay amount as we just kind of, like, shoot and do things. No, thank you. One of the other, well, there's a couple of other rings I've been swapping around in place of the wood ring that I have on right now. Uh, first one is the defensive action loop. So every time you reload or while reloading and, and for like three seconds after reloading, you have an extra 10% damage reduction, which is uh, kind of all the time. And with our damage reduction and values right now, that's like an extra, like in actuality, 5% more damage reduction. So it is. it does make us a little bit more safe, but is it better than using the, uh, what's it, not the kinetic shield of Sanger, uh, the tightly wound coil. That one will give you a shield for using 75% of your magazine. So is that 5% damage reduction better than having the like 10 or 15% of your health as a shield? Mm, not so sure, but you know, you could kind of mess around with it see which one does more and um if you want it i mean honestly you could kind of combine the two if i could stop missing that'd be great that's what's really satisfying about this thing is you catch a dude in the slow and then uh you can just take your time and line up a headshot put that there bang there he goes and because it charges up so fast you can kind of constantly use it on enemies like that so boom we set that up let him kind of wander into it or you know we just do this because we're constantly able to go stealth mode as long as we take our time hit the weak spot hits and if you really wanted to you could put on the uh the guard dog skill so that your dog is just 
taking a bit more aggro from you and then you could like actively get weak spots lined up not for free but more easily you know because they're too busy like looking at the dog and not you uh yeah here it is the full loadout hunter handler i went with the hunter shroud just because we're constantly reloading you can shoot reload go back into stealth and ambush yada 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 uh the handler is just kind of nice it is i mean i was going for that hunter theme but you could run a different archetype if you wanted but this does give you an extra increase to your range damage skill damage etc and just the handler in general has a lot of nice perks and i like the flexibility as far as like what you could do with the dog so have him doing more damage and then being able to have a skill to increase all your damage is pretty solid but hey maybe you do want the extra like threat from the dog and then the uh the support dog for healing depending on what you need in your team maybe uh, void idle 30 percent extra reload speed is nice it's nice and then just effectively doubling your ammo capacity but if you are not concerned about your ammo capacity you could swap it out for anything or like another alternative is to go with like zero divide infinite ammo the difference is you're not going to get that reload speed but the zero divide does also increase your damage by 15 percent. so like this isn't actually increasing our damage the one thing like argument you could make is that the reload speed is a like kind of damage increase because you're able to constantly shoot you know or able to shoot more often so an overall increase to your dps over a fight but your raw nam dumb and damage numbers are just not going to be quite as high right uh, i do like the idea and i'll have to actually really mess around with it again use a moonstone so that your reload speed is faster and then every third manual reload will increase your range damage so like you get kind of a blend between the two the problem is you're going to lose out on ammo efficiency so you might this might not be it for you you know i don't know uh there's shiny hog lore I talked about using the digested hog lore and stuff but without having mods that are really doing a lot of damage like you could still use it because i'm using the familiar even if we reload this gun once we get the digested hog lure buff going on which is right here so 15 percent more mod damage you get that reload going on and then even if you reload with this it's going to increase the mod damage of this one as well because it's just kind of flat across the board but again kind of the same issue i have with it, the digested hog lure i before and still now is it's 15 percent more damage on your mod for seven seconds that requires you to reload if you're just really looking for simple just extra mod damage you could just go to the shard banded ring which is just going to be that 12 percent damage bonus just flat and that like how much of a difference is that three percent really making right like mm, like yes all those little numbers do stack up and at the end of the day like if you have like a three percent here three percent there three percent over there like that ends up stacking up to be quite a lot but if it's a single instance is it really making that much of a difference probably not but if you're reloading anyways whatever uh wood ring like i said extra stagger damage just kind of fun sometimes mostly i find it happening a lot with like the elites which i kind of don't need it for because we're slowing them down so like in a way they're already so controlled you don't really need to stagger them but at the same time you can catch them in like a loop at times and they just can't escape the slow because they're in the slow they're moving slow which means that you're able to just keep shooting them and reload and shoot and then you're staggering them and they're staying in the slow cloud so like they can't they just can't escape ever uh i did targeting jewel i have the point focus ring both of them for the spread reduction the extra range is kind of nice for the targeting jewel with the uh spore bloom stacking on top of the long shot as well so we just kind of like increase the effective range of our spore bloom a little bit and then like you could take off one of these and be kind of okay like i would maybe say the targeting jewel and so without that this is what it spreads out which isn't awful i like having it a little bit better but you know you could make that sacrifice especially because we have a, sp a uh, spread fragment in here so that kind of helps us out and then like depending on the difficulty and how you feel you could also run the tranquility font which will reduce all the like spray spread reticle sway gun recoil and stuff so that could replace one of those other like pieces of gear or fragments or something uh there is also another ring that i was finding kind of fun with the thing it was the empowering loop so increased range damage by 15 percent, which is solid and then slows our charge time and fire rate but we're not charging our guns we're really not doing any fire rate because every shot requires reload so like really there's no downside to us for using this 
so I found that one pretty fun too. So like sometimes instead of using the wood ring, I was using that one or defensive action loop or the tightly wound coil. Something like that is kind of, you know, can be pretty enjoyable. Oh, I didn't talk about my traits. Oh, that's my bad, man. Uh, yeah, Grigor's Fortify Vigor Spirit handling maxed out. We want that spread reduction. Uh, rugged for the dog. Perception, because we've got the slow stuff going on. I put some of my last points into Bark Skin. So with these points into Bark Skin and Fortify going on, and this armor set, which is the Knotted Helm, the High Noon Duds, Knotted Greaves, and the Knotted Gloves, that puts us at a 50% damage reduction. Hooray for us. A uh, tiny bit of points in recovery and endurance. Just a little bit of stamina stuff. Uh, fragments, yeah. Health bonus, weapon damage, weapon spread. And then I've got a ranged uh, prism that I'm kind of tweaking around with and working on slowly but surely, you know. Just any ranged bonuses for me. Stupid pig. Oh, hello. I kind of wish the bird would get affected by haste. I don't... Oh, man. Dang it. That'd be kind of cool if the familiar could be affected by haste, right? Like... I don't think it is but if it could be okay uh let's fight the huntress and call it good uh you know what i might actually do is open with a relic so that our dog is doing more damage throw him out there boom boom there we go oh thank you Oh, uh, yeah, there's the stagger. There we go. So, you see, that's what I kind of remember seeing, right? Uh, I should also have this going on because haste and stuff is always pretty nice. Absolutely laying into her. Yeah, I do kind of wish the... Maybe, like... I wonder if doing a harmonizer or something like that for, like... Maybe that would be worth it. No, because... That thing was Harmonizer, so it's going to help us to charge our uh, Familiar a little bit better, but I don't need more mod damage on the Spore Shot because it just doesn't do that damage, you know what I mean? There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. She got this updated moveset now. Got to be careful. I can mess up this part here pretty easily if I'm not careful. One more. Nope, only the one that time. You know what always gets me on the Huntress fight? Are the ads. Because I'll get hit by a freaking sniper. And then that'll end me. And that's really annoying. Yeah, like over there. Where there's like a thousand of them right now. There we go. Boom. No thank you. Maybe she'll kill all of them now. Nope. Nope. Maybe the bird, our familiar, will take care of it for us. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They're still alive. They're still alive. We're going to be invisible. We're going to run fast. We're going to stay away. Let the bird and the dog do some work. <laughs> All right. There we go. That was pretty close. That got a little dicey there at the end. But, hey, we're good. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I enjoy it. Uh, next, spirit feeder. I think that's going to be the next one I do. We're going to do a spirit feeder thing and then maybe full, the moon circlet amulet thing. See if I can't do something with that and see how I feel about it. I didn't like it before, but maybe I'll try something else. We'll see. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Just messing around, man. <laughs> Just messing around. Uh, take it easy.